This is the Maida Initiative conversation without compromise. So on that note, it seems like you've got a lot of positive acclaim. Has there been any backlash to doing something like this? Oh, um, yes, there has. And it kind of surprised us. Um, like, I mean, obviously in terms of um, like hate speech or anti-Muslim sentiments, like we, we did get a few articles and a, and a very, I wouldn't call it prolific video, but someone did a YouTube video about our show. Thank you so much because hate, hate views are still views, right? right. Um, yeah. And so that was, that was kind of expected, like, especially coming out of America, not to stereotype Americans, but um, we did kind of expect a lot of like right wing um, commentary on the show when, when, once we went global. But um, when, during our first release, it was really interesting because we found a lot of the backlash was from the Muslim community itself, um, particularly like a large part of um, the, the intrinsic community in Sydney. Um, and we kind of, you know, we had to look at the data and kind of, kind of figure out why. And we kind of put it down to the fact that, like, when a community who hasn't been represented before is first seen on screen, they actually do become quite vulnerable, because, um, you know, you're seeing you're seeing yourself on screen for the first time, and I think there's a instant reaction of like, oh wait, that's not me. Like that's not how I am, or that's not my community. Um, and I think like a lot of those sentiments flared up especially once we dropped the trailer that was the first thing we dropped and yeah the i mean if you go on our facebook or instagram and look at the the views and comments on our trailers like it kind of went like wildfire throughout the community um and yeah i think that was the that was the most surprising thing for us um but once that initial you know once we started releasing the episode the once once started people watching it that definitely tapered down but i think there was a lot of initial confusion as to like where the series could take the portrayal of their community so there was a lot of yeah apprehension i guess i feel like yeah exactly i feel like there was like an initial oh what are they going to say about us like it's kind of like we've already been through this so many times like what is this guy's making fun of us um so i think that's why we copped um some backlash at the start um yeah, as you said, I think once people saw the show, they were like, okay, no, this is actually meaningful and it's done, you know, with, with the community involved. So um, we didn't get as much backlash, I feel, when the show went on. Yeah. Well, it, ma- it, makes a lo- it makes a lot of sense to me what, you're, what you've experienced, right? Because even within the show, clearly in the Middle Eastern culture, you have this big honor-shame culture. And I think a lot of Muslims are very much trying to manage their kind of PR, right? Because they, as you said, they have had bad PR and representation in the past, which Mm -hmm. almost makes them overly polished in some ways, Mm -hmm. right? And what the story you're telling is not a polished story, as you're saying, it's one that shows the good parts and the bad parts. And ultimately that's, that's going to do better things for the community than having this very polished, unrelatable thing. Yeah, we definitely like, I mean, after about two weeks or a month, we had enough data on our social media to, to kind of figure out the, the, the patterns that people were creating and um, in the behavioral patterns. And it was fascinating. Like I won't obviously mention any, any names particularly, but there were a large part, um, basically on the, on the trailer, especially a lot of the comments were negative you know, from, especially from a, a lot of Muslim women themselves, they would just be like, oh my God, what is this? No, like, aren't they tired of laughing at us, etc. But then it was interesting because those comments were public facing. But then on the uh, underside of that, we have, you know, our private messages, you know, through Instagram and Facebook, which are privy only to the show's creators and the creatives. Um, and we were getting a lot of personal messages being like, wow, I'm finally seeing a story that I can see myself in and like, oh, wow, I want to, um, you know, send me a link. I, I want to binge watch this like in private. Um, and so a lot of women were like contacting us privately saying how much the show has, has lifted them up. Um, and not to comment, I guess, on like their, 
their familial structures or like how they live their lives. But I think um, it, it really did become a, a secret guilty pleasure for a lot of females in the community. Um, we, you know, where publicly they had to, you know, a lot of males were like, oh my God, what is this show? And the women had to be like, yeah, it's, it's, this is a weird show. And secretly they were sort of watching it. So that was, um, you know, we, we definitely saw that and started to lean into that as well.